In the most electrifying and completely sold out arena, Gaan proved that he is not going anywhere soon and still has the will to become the undisputed heavyweight champion. Manon Fjord also put her name in the title contention and we got a new rising lightweight star in Benoit Saint-Denis. Now let's check what are the most possible next fights to make for them. I'm the guy with the Indian accent and you are on the fight book. In the current situation in the heavyweight division where two goats are going to collide in November with a clear number one contender as their backup, there is no way Gaan can get another title shot without one more win on a top tier fighter. Gaan is currently ranked at number two, so him versus number four ranked Aspinal is a no-brainer to decide the next title challenger after Pavlovich. Espinal is right now the biggest heavyweight prospect after the number one contender and he cannot be avoided. And here is a gentle reminder that Espinal did the same thing with Spivak in only two minutes with a bum knee and he did it without absorbing a single strike. So beating a guy with a much impressive resume like Espinal can guarantee Gaan another title shot and same for Espinal that if he gets past Gaan, there is no way he doesn't get the shot. Sergey Spivak is currently the youngest ranked heavyweight fighter in the UFC so we should not count him out with this loss. If Gaan can get back, he can get back as well. Looking at the rankings carefully, we can say that the most sensible matchup for him now is the heavyweight gatekeeper Alexander Volkov who is currently on a two-fight win streak and fighting this weekend against Tai Tuivasa. Tuivasa is also close to Spivak in the rankings but he has lost to Tuivasa already so him versus Tuivasa isn't likely to happen. On the other hand, if Volkov loses this weekend, him versus Volkov makes more sense and even if Volkov wins, it still makes a lot of sense stylistically and because of their position in the rankings as well. Manon Fjord just defeated the former two-time strawweight champion and is now riding a six-fight win streak, same as Aaron Blachfield. Indeed, she won, but she couldn't impress the fans as much as Erin Blachfield did last weekend by beating the girl who arguably defeated Valentina Shevchenko. So there is no way she is getting the title shot over her, so the best thing for her is to wait for the title shot and become the backup of Erin Blachfield's title shot, just like Brandon Royval did. But considering the inactivity of the female champions in the UFC, her versus Bloodfield for the clear number one contender would also be a big fight. Both are undefeated in the UFC with the six fight win streak and both make a good case to get the title shot. After a performance like that, it is clear that the best place for Rose Nama Yunus is the strawweight division and she should return back there. Although she is now on a two-fight losing streak, she still have a name value which is the need of number 4 ranked strawweight Tatiana Suarez to get the shot at the gold. Considering the rumors of Zhang Meili vs. Jan Shaonan in the China, Suarez vs. Lama Yunus is the best fight that can be made in the division where Suarez will have the chance to get the title shot while Lama Yunus can prove that she is still a force to be reckoned with. Benoit Saint-Denis showed that he can make a good run towards the title and he deserves a ranked opponent next. In the current UFC lightweight rankings, there is an old guy who does not have any potential to make a run towards the title but still somehow is in the rankings and that's Diego Fajera. With that impressive win over Moises, Saint-Denis should replace Fajera in the rankings and fight Jalen Turner next. Turner is on the way down in the rankings with two straight losses, so he must defend his spot against an up-and-comer like Denis. Moreover, he is as good to watch as Saint Denis, so there is no way this fight is not going to be a badass. Other than these few fights, any unranked fight makes sense for other UFC Paris winners and losers because they now have a lot of options. Now that's all. 
If you agree with my matchmaking, do like the video. And if not, tell me what fight you want next. Now I'll see you in the next video. So till then, do whatever you want.